start from a place of not knowing. For example, reading, writing, walking, talking. And through the doing, we learn. We may not get it right for the first time, but eventually we will. For example, let me give you this simple physics problem. Okay, it's simple, believe me, okay? Now there is a lot going on in this problem, right? Now I don't know how many of you have studied basic physics, but let us assume you're solving this problem for the first time. Now some of you will say that you find this problem confusing, some of you will say it's not my cup of tea, some of you will try to get the answer, okay? And some of you will research and research and ultimately you will come up with an answer within days. When you do something for the first time, it's often very scary because you don't know what is going to happen. But don't worry, I'm going to give you a hint to solve this problem along the way in my speech. As being a woman of color, I got a little background story to tell you about myself. I'm sharing this story not because it is unique, because it is not. There are so many girls around the world who have to give up on their dreams, their job, their education. Why? Because they are a girl. Choosing a career instead of marriage is often looked down in many societies. The definition of a good woman is confined into someone who takes care of the family, who obeys, who is submissive. I was in a similar situation when I expressed my wish to do a PhD. Um, it was not welcome. All right. So after my master's, I got a good job. I was teaching. And once you, uh, once you start earning, you are in your comfort zone. But I wasn't doing what I love. What I love was researching and, you know, studying astronomy and astrophysics. So I tried to push my boundaries. I tried to do as much work as possible in lesser amount of time. By the way, that was the hint. Okay. Um, so I took up various astronomy courses. I attended a lot of summer schools. I did a lot of astronomy outreach. And eventually, I met my supervisor in um, virtual uh, summer school. And then within two months, I was here in Vilnius. I left my friends, my family, my job, everything, and I traveled 5,620 kilometers, and I arrived in this beautiful city of Vilnius. And that's the whole rebirth process. Mahatma Gandhi once said, each night I go to sleep, I die. Every morning I wake up, I'm reborn again. From the flames of hard work and the sweet pain of sweat, that how one is reborn from each dark night silhouette. Now, in this whole process, there are two important things that I learned. Number one, persistence and perseverance is a key to success. No matter how hard things get, don't give up on your dreams. For example, as you can look in this image, people give up when they are just inches away from achieving success. Secondly, failure is more important than success. I can't stress enough how important it is to fail. You all know when the light bulb was invented, Thomas Edison failed a thousand times. When a reporter asked, how do you feel about it? He said that I didn't fail a thousand times. Light bulb was an invention with thousand steps. So you got to not give up and be optimistic. Now, coming back to the problem, okay? You can view this problem like you view your life. It's complicated, it's confusing. So what we are going to do, we are going to eliminate the distraction, all the unnecessary things, okay? And we are going to focus on what is important. 
Okay, the important one is highlighted in red. A machine with power of 100 watts runs for 10 seconds. Find the work done by the machine. All right, so it's very simple. If you know the formula is power equal to work upon time, and if you just uh, cross multiply, power into time is work. Okay, or P into T equal to W, or as I like to call it, perseverance multiplied by time invested is a sure shot guarantee for win. Nowadays, everybody wants to do things very fast. Everybody wants the next get rich quick, uh, quick scheme, the secret sauce, the secret ingredient. But the truth is, if you want to achieve success, just get started and do not give up. Do not give up through success and especially not through challenges and failure. When you're faced with challenges and failure, that's exactly when you must persist. So go one more round. Take one more uh, run down the ground, okay, uh, down the, sorry, down the street and don't give up. Persistence is a quality of winner. And I believe it is within every one of us. And if it is within every one of us, it must be within you. Thank you.